Hello everybody, this is Quiver C, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Last time we had ourselves a brief interlude after saving the first Star Spirit, taking a look at some of the things that changed around Toad Town, as well as, thanks to Princess Peach and Twink, finding out our next objective is Dry Dry Desert. And as we also heard from a few sources, south is where we need to go to access it, via train no less. But there's, of course, more here before that. Nothing in that tree. Little kid! When I grow up, I'm gonna learn to be a train conductor! Train conductors are so cool! Station stop! All aboard! That's a nice little dream. I like it. Ah! This house, though. I know it all too well. Doesn't this toad look familiar? We saw her at the party! And I believe her name was Tasty. Oh my goodness, it's Mario! My name is Tasty! I love to cook! If you bring me ingredients, I'd be happy to fix you one of my energy-given dishes. Would you like me to cook you something? Yes, please. Which ingredient would you like me to use? Yeah, you can cook any ingredient in the game. An, an item, rather. And Tasty will turn it into something different. So, for example, if we use this Koopa Leaf... Then I shall cook with the Koopa Leaf? I'll whip up something special just for you, honey. It'll be fabulous. Just a moment. Tra la 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 la. Here you are. This recipe's not too bad. Here, please. Koopa tea. Ah, Colorado's wife was talking about this. So, yeah, the Koopa Leaf restored 3 FP, but cooking it into Koopa tea, 7. Most anything that is recovery based can be used like this to make to make it better. Come back anytime, hon. I look forward to it. I've got more to cook. So let's take a look at some other options here. If we, for example, take this mushroom, we are rewarded with the fried shroom. It restores 6 HP and 2 FP. Honestly, that's a very efficient way to just make make a, a recovery item. It's almost like a mini refresh in a way. Like, I like having items like this that recover a decent amount of HP and a little bit of FP. Uh, but of course, there are some things that aren't a good idea to cook. For example, I'm pretty sure this dried shroom is one of them. So let's give it a shot. We'll cook with the dried shroom. Oh, I'm so sorry. This recipe didn't work out. Oh well. <laughs> Here, please. The mistake. This doesn't look very good. Restores 1 HP and 1 FP. <laughs> if you cook something that shouldn't be cooked, it will always become the mistake. Funny enough, it's still better than the dried shroom. <laughs> At least restores an FP as well. <laughs> uh, we'll have to do something with that later. Gumbaria, what do you have to say about her? She's tasty! By far the greatest cook around! Trust me, my mom is a really great cook, but even she admits she can learn a thing or two from Taste Tea. Taste Tea will cook for you if you take ingredients to her. Come on, let's ask her. Already done that. There is one more item we could cook, but I... If I remember correctly what it turns into, that being the maple syrup, I'd rather not do it right now. Mario, Mario, Mario! Have you ever met what we're lovely of Shooting Star Summit? Sure have. That lady, she's so lovely and mysterious. Oh, I'm crazy for her. I heard that her hobby is cultivating bonsai trees. Maybe I should try that too. By the by, did you know that Merlovely has a twin sister? Her sister must be really gorgeous and charming too. Interesting. Well, maybe we'll get to meet her someday. Uh, is there anything behind? We can't go back there. Invisible walls! Gotta love them. Um, uh, I don't know if we can do anything in here. Won't open. Must go off from the inside. Okay, nope. About over this way. Oh. I remember him. I'll talk about him in a minute, but first, I want to go to the item shop because there's some new items. There's the stone cap, which, yeah, makes him only able to move for a while. So, it, it makes you invulnerable, but at the only time you really want to use it is if you're relying on your partners to attack with, and I'd rather not. I don't really care for this item too much. It does have its uses, but there's better options. Dizzy Dot, we already know. The Thunder Rage, that is basically the same as the Thunder Bolt, but it attacks all enemies. And the Tasty Tonic, which cures poisoning and shrinking. 
Uh, everything else here we've already seen. There's a locked door back there we can't do anything about. But the reason I wanted to come in here... Welcome to Harry's shop. No, not to buy. Not to buy. Not to buy. No, not to buy! Button mash! I want to claim. Because... Remember the Goom Nut. I now have it again. And... That also becomes something better when we take it to taste tea. So we'll be doing that in a bit. Nothing in that tree. I'm just kind of exploring around seeing what else there is right now. Such as this little house. Hey, you're Mario, right? We just moved in. We've only just unpacked. It's like a dream come true. A quiet and gorgeous home all to ourselves. I'm so happy. Of course, happy as I am, I know these are sad times. I try not to act too jolly when I'm out and about. Hey, take a victory in the fact that you have your own place. That is a big victory. Hi, I'm new to the neighborhood. I never expected it to be so nice and quiet in the big city. It cost me a small fortune in coins to get this place, but I think it was worth it. It's such a lovely house, isn't it? It sure is. It's a nice, quaint little house. I don't know how much space a toad needs to live happily, but you seem content. I heard a rumor about this great big hidden ruin somewhere in Dry Dry Desert, but I don't believe it. Well, I've never seen it. Once I see it with my own eyes, then I'll believe it. <laughs> Seeing is believing, as they say. <coughs> Jeez, I cannot stop coughing. Ah, the music has changed in here. Got a nice little drum beat music box. But, uh, I can't really do anything about that right now. We'll have to investigate that another time. There are a lot of toads out here. Ooh. Hey, some kids. Here comes Red Ranger T! Pow! Here comes Yellow Ranger T! Boom! Here comes Green Ranger T! Dump! Look, look, Mario! We three are heroes like you! That's adorable. Alright, there's a lot more to the west, but I'm actually gonna go back to the east here in a minute, because there really isn't too much. Yeah. Now I'll, fi I'll finish exploring, but first, remember I, I pointed out this dude. He claims that he can upgrade your point levels, but there's something suspicious about him. I don't know. I just don't trust him for some reason. Who knows, though? I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Yo, little man. Name's Chet Ripple. Pleasure meeting you. Say, man, don't you want to upgrade your status? <laughs> yeah, I know you do. It's usually 390 coins, but for you, and only you, I'll do it for just 39 coins. If you give me 39 coins, I'll upgrade your HP, FP, or BP. I'm not lying or cheating you. Come on, you know you want it. I would very much like that, except for two problems. Uh, problem number one is I don't have any coins. Actually, what do you say about that? What are you trying to pull? You don't even have 39 coins. Too bad for you. Try coming back when you have a few coins in your pocket. So, as his name and dialogue and Gumbario's words suggest, he's not being entirely honest. He will increase one of those stats, whichever one you want, at the cost of lowering another stat. So if I were to say, have him increase my BP, I would lose one level up's worth of HP or FP. So he's really a converter, not a booster. And he's got a little quiet as we hit the waterfront. Tis true, big fish I'll be getting when they're a fish here. Your, your caterpillars be making the best bait. You fuzzy peed, you're me bait. Just cause you're a fish and I gets to be the bait? Nuh uh. You're a plum fool. That might be a caterpillar, but I still got some rights. That is not a caterpillar. That is definitely. A fuzzy with big lips. That, that, that is not a caterpillar. You cannot convince me otherwise. Ooh. What does that say up there? Club? Oh, Club 64. Because it's on the N64. I get it! Ooh. Listen to that music. I love it. I don't remember much about this place. Hello, sir. Yep. We lost a whole mess of glasses around here when the earthquake hit. Been cleaning ever since. It's a shame. Lots of fond memories in those glasses. There is something oddly soothing about the animation of him wiping down that glass. 
I can't explain it. Gubario, help. He runs this restaurant. He just opened it. He also plays a mean guitar. I'm sure he'll be popular here. I'd like to come here one day with my whole family. I don't like fish, though. Yeah, I guess he's by the waterside. It would be a seafood restaurant. What about the patrons? Welcome to Club 64. How do you like the club, dude? Pretty posh, right? Yeah, my buddy there and I opened up last year. This club was broken here and there in that earthquake, but no problem. We'll get it all fixed up in no time. Live the dream, buddy. Live the dream. I'm Simon. I'm rhyming. To folks who know it, I'm the master poet. Poor pop diva cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the thing. If my lyrics really rock, our pop diva will be cured of shock. I'm tragically stuck, though, because my last night's a no-show. Later, Pluminator. That was forced. You are doing so well, and then you ruined it! Mm. Hi, I'm Chanterelle. I'm known around here as the Pop Diva of Toad Town. Oh, I used to be able to sing any song perfectly. Each note a masterpiece. Those times are behind me now. Perhaps forever. The sight of Peach's castle flying high into the sky was such shock. I haven't been able to sing since then. And now... Now I'm a pop diva who cannot sing. Cool irony, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If only there was one way to help her. Oh well. Oh, uh, what else is around here? I'll have to talk to some of these other toads later, because there, there's a... Like I said earlier, there's a lot. Ooh, there's a shadow on those boxes. But, uh, unless we can slink behind here... Or is it around here? Aha! It was. Hello there, Mr. Brick. What lies within? Money, 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 and money. Money times ten. Uh, Gavario! Gavario, what? You okay, buddy? This is Toad Town's port! It's home to the only restaurant in town! I like to stand at the end of the pier and gaze at the sea. If only I could change the angle. That does sound nice. I always like the water. And just the, the ocean in general. Anyway, I think that is about all that is out here. So, back to the east. Okay. Oh, before I forget. Tasty, we have something else for you to cook. Cooking one goom nut becomes... The Nutty Cake restores 10 FP. That's the equivalent of a maple syrup. And all you gotta do is go to Toad Town, <laughs> whack the tree, and take the nut to taste tea. That almost rhymed. That lyricist poet back there is rubbing off on me. Here we have a toad with a spear. Beyond here lies the dark and gloomy forever forest. You'll get lost for sure, so I'd advise you not to enter. Don't tell me what to do. I'm going to the forest. Against the Toad's judgment. And against the plot. Mario does what he wants. Forever Forest, left and right. Toad Town backwards. I actually never tried going this way before I'm supposed to. Yeah, we're not supposed to go this way yet. But I wonder, can I actually do anything? Ah. Well, those flowers sure seem to like this path. Let's take it. Hello. What do you think you're doing? This is Forever Forest. The path ahead of here is extremely dangerous. Didn't you know that? You better go back. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do! Curse you and your plot device! This is Oakley. He lives in Forever Forest. He guards the entry to Forever Forest to prevent wanderers from getting lost. He helps any townsfolk who get lost inside. That beard. For some reason, I feel like yanking it. <laughs> I would pay to see you do that, Goombario. I really would. Yeah, yeah, we're not supposed to go this way yet, and Mr. Old Man Oakface here is our um, eternal roadblock into doing so. Sorry, Smiling Flowers. I want to see what makes you so happy, but... I didn't expect that. I didn't think they appeared on this map. Okay, sure, why not? New enemy, Piranha Plant. 
This is the piranha plant! Piranha plants pop out of the ground at unexpected moments, so be on your guard! Max HP 5, attack 3, defense 0. Uh, you've seen them in every one of your adventures, so I imagine you know them pretty well. Their sharp jaws point upward, so you'll get bitten if you try to jump on them. They smile after biting people. Smug smile. It makes me hopping mad! I share that sentiment to Goombario, I really do. Um, yeah, these guys are actually pretty tough, so, um, Bombat, help, help, please. Ah, okay, good, defend, and defend, okay, we good, we good, we good, we good. Bombat, bomb it! Boom, five down, to zero. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna eat this mistake just to use it. Refund one coin! Yeah! Good job, Mario. You ate garbage! Alright. Bomb it! Bomb it! <laughs> I think I, I bumped the screen. Okay. Um... I'm pretty sure this isn't where we came in, but I don't really care. Backwards! Backwards! And now we're back here. That is how the Forever Forest works. But we'll get more in detail on that um, when we're actually supposed to go that way. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Southward! Whoa! Hello. I feel like you have something important to say. People say that there's a big, dangerous creature living deep inside that pipe over there. But when people tell you not to go in, it kind of makes you want to even more. Of course, you'll be alright if you carry lots of items. Probably. Yeah, maybe. You also might be okay if you're Mario. Private. It's private. It's pipe. Down the private pipe! And into the Toe Town sewers. Got ourselves a, another one of these gray blocks we saw back uh, all the way back in Goomba Village. Can't do anything with that. And a wooden platform. Or, yeah. Can't do anything with that either. Can't hammer it. Bombette's not the answer. More for this. As we will see, nothing. So, this, however... Ooh, that's a new enemy. Come on. Normally I would use my bet. Oh. And I screw up. <laughs> yep. New enemy. These are not Goombas. They are Gloombas. This is a Gloomba. Gloombas are nasty Goombas who live in the Toad Town Tunnels. Max HP 7, attack 2, defense 0. They're stronger than ordinary Goombas, but you can take them. Yep. They're basically just beefy Goombas. Um, and you'll see that I actually also changed up a couple of my badges. I took off Hammer Throw for multi-bounce and, when you saw with the mistake, refund. Um, let's go ahead and do multi-bounce. I'm going to fail that every time I want to demonstrate a new jump. It's going to happen every time without fail, I swear. Ugh. Bombat, do your thing. Still having an unusual amount of trouble with that command. All right. Uh, I'm getting dicey. The stars! The stars will save me. Hello, Eld Star. I need life energy. All right. Bombette, do your bop. I still love doing that with the body slam. The slow charge just cracks me up every time. Alright, hammer, one, two, three, BAM! And a bomb. I barely got that one. You know what, still having a hard time. Anyways, eight star points. Same value as the piranha plants, interestingly enough. And we got ourselves a long line of boxes. Nothing, nothing. Money, me, 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 me. No, no, no! I failed. Oh, that looks familiar, doesn't it? I'm gonna skip past him for a moment, though, because... Yep! Hidden Super Shroom! Knew it! And hidden thing. Uh... 
That's definitely a new enemy up there. I'm gonna need to use Goombario, but I'm gonna try and get the first strike with Bombette. Oh, he had it. He was laughing. He thought his trick worked, but I saw him. I'm wise to your tricks. Come here, you. I got a trick of my own. It's called bombs. You win this round. You know what? Sleepy sheepy. I want to make you sleepy. Say hello to the sheepy. Both of them. Asleep for three turns. Alright, good. That'll give me a chance. Gubario. Talk to me, buddy. What are we working with? This is a spiked Goomba. They're spiked Goombas who live in the Toad Town Tunnels. Max HP 7, attack 3, defense 0. Be careful of the spike hats they wear. It'll definitely hurt if you jump on them. Yep. As expected, they are exactly the same. Just with a little bit more damage. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take advantage of their sleepiness and charge. And then charge. Again! Mario, you are not gonna be able to hurt them. Um, let's do Cooper. So I'm not gonna be using Bomb here. Alright, they're awake. Hammer time! One, two, three, bam! And Cooper will finish the job. One Gloomba remaining. Oof. And I failed pretty hard. Alright. This is gonna height. I'm really hoping Close Call activates at this point, because, yeah, these Gloombas are tougher than anything else we've fought so far. I love Close Call. I love Close Call. I love Close Call. I love Close Call! Cooper, kill it! Kill it with shell! Ooh. Well, the good news is, one more fight like that and we'll level up. Hey, I got my sleepy sheep back! Sweet! Alright. Ooh. I know what's coming up. I know what's coming up. I know, I freaking know what's coming up. Uh, uh do I wanna... Uh, yeah, we're eating this now. You'll understand in a minute. He's a squid! Say hello to Blooper! This is a Blooper! Bloopers lurk in the dank pools of the hometown tunnels! Max HP 30, attack 3, defense 0! They seem pretty unremarkable. Although, you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. Yeah, Blooper. He's a nasty boy, and I don't really have too many great tools for him. In case you couldn't tell, coming down here is optional right now. It's actually a better idea to come here later, but, uh, I'm stupid. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! That's the best one I've had yet! Whoop! Ah, oh, man, I hate when he does that. That attack is really annoying to block, and if I remember right, it can also cause a status ailment, or am I thinking of the next game? I, I might be getting it mixed up. Anyways, power rounds again! Two, three. Nah, not as good. Still better than normal, but not as good. Hey, I'll, I'll take getting an eight, though. I'm not gonna knock it. <laughs> Alright, we whack him. Oh, here's the second attack. Boom! That one is thankfully very easy to block. And if we had a Volt Shroom, he would have taken damage from that. Only reason I bring that up is because I usually use it against this guy. But, uh, let's, uh, let's heal up, because I would like to do another Power Bounce, and Eldstar will make sure that can happen. Excellent. Gumbario, bonk him! Boop! Boop! He's halfway done! Doing bonk! Bonk! Yeah, that attack is much, much, much easier to block. Alright, Power Bounce time! Okay, so I'm starting to get the timing on that one. It's kind of like right when he's starting to fall after he hits the apex of his jump. I'll have to remember that. I'm learning! Alright, let's just go for the regulars. Just a couple more rounds of this and Blooper Boy is done. 
I'm surprised he isn't using his ink attack more. He only did it for that one turn, and he has yet to try again. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's gonna cause like a blindness effect, which will make Mario miss sometimes. But uh, we didn't have to deal with that, and we got a level up. All right, uh, no question at all. BP, FP is good, but I have a lot more badges now, and I'd like to use them. And in fact, if I remember right, by defeating Blooper, we get. The Shrink Stomp Badge! If it works, the enemy shrinks and its attack power decreases. We're putting that on right now. And let's also put on the D-Down Pound. Because that'll also be quite helpful later. Alright, let's get out of the sewer. Alright. So we've gone to the left, we've gone to the right, we've now just got to go down. But first, got ourselves a flower sprout in there that we can talk to. Gabario, have you ever talked to a flower before? It's a flower! I guess that's pretty obvious. It doesn't seem to move like an ordinary flower, though. No, it doesn't. We talk to it. Whoa! Hello there! My name is Bubbob. I come from Flower Fields. It's the wonderful land of flowers. I'd love to spread the wondrous flowers of Flower Fields all over your land. You have flowers, don't you? Of course you do. Who doesn't? And for that reason, I'll entrust this to your care. The Magical Seed. I have it planted in the flower garden in Toad Town. Yeah, you remember, um, Minty, I believe was her name. She had a little garden and told us to find Bubbobs to get their seeds. We just got one. That is a flower seed. If it's well cared for, a beautiful flower will bloom. These flowers are delicate. Only one with a loving heart can make them bloom in beauty. Please take good care of it, for beauty is fragile. You are a very wise bulb. Honestly, when I was a kid, I always... I didn't think it said bub albs. I thought it said bulb albs. In a similar fashion, I thought that bob alms were bomb alms. Some little tidbit. Anyways, smacking this tree in the south end of Toad Town makes a mystic pipe appear that was not there before. Going down the pipe, we have hit a secret club. It was never fun when that old Koopa Troopa lost. He blamed it on everyone but himself, then raised a big stink. <sighs> it was a crazy scene. Old Koopa Troopa, when he lost, you say. Jump attack. Smash attack. I dare say, this looks like a game corner! Hello there, Mario! Welcome to the playroom! To play here, you need a member credit! The kind of game you can play depends on the kind of member credit you have! Oh, cool! You have a silver credit! In that case, I'll make a pipe appear that will lead down to the jump attack floor! Yeah, remember Koopa Koot? He gave us the silver credit! Thanks to him, we can play here! Gah! I was so close today! Oh, let's say we give this shot. We are the star of this room. Behold the spotlight. Gubario, what say you? It's called Jump Attack. If you win the game, you'll collect lots of coins. If you lose, you won't get a thing. Too bad. Yeah, this is a way to earn some money. Greetings, my good man. This is the Jump Floor Attack. Floor. Uh, give me a second, and I'll collect my thoughts and then explain the rules for you. Eleven blocks will appear in the air. When you hit one, a panel will come out. There are four kinds of panels. The number of coins you get depends on the order you hit the panels in. This is a one-coin panel. It will give you one coin. This is a five-coin panel. It will give you five coins. This is a five-times panel. Your coins will be multiplied five times. This is a Bowser panel. If you find this panel, unfortunately, it's game over. If you clear the nine blocks option, as a special bonus, your coins will be doubled. The rules are written on that board over there. I think you'll catch on quickly once you start playing. Anyway, you might as well try it at least once. You need ten coins to play. How about it? Wanna try? Sure. Uh, let's go in the middle of the road and try the seven block. Try to hit seven blocks. Get ready to... Jump! Attack! Alright, so we have eleven blocks. Let us start here! I did it! 
I lost! Alright, I'm actually gonna try something here just to see if it works the way I think it does. I'm gonna make a restore point. I think you're gonna see where I'm going with this. If this does work, I'm not gonna abuse it. I just wanna see if it works the way I think it does. So we're gonna play the five block option. Jump. Attack! Okay, that, 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 I know I need to hit blocks, shut up. Okay, I'm gonna hit this block here. It is five points. Oh, I just realized I messed up, so I'm actually gonna make the restore point now. I should have done it after I started the game. Okay, so this will be the dumb block. That's Bowser. Now if I load again, is it still Bowser? Yes. Okay, so that tells me that the coins are not gener- the blocks panels are not generated when you, um, hit it. They're generated when you, uh, start the game. As such, if you feel like it, you can use the virtual if you're playing the virtual console version you can use save states to cheat this and make money like i said though i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna try as many times as i can really 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 i have one more try i have one more try i have one more try come on seven blocks at least let me get to block three I HATE YOU! Okay. Okay. Block- I made it to block five! I made it to block five! <laughs> I can't play anymore, though. Oh, well. You can't play the game without enough coins. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, not much I can do there. Oh, well. Um, ooh. Crap! I wish I didn't spend all my money! I forgot this was here! No! I love Little Oinks! Love them! You, you wanna learn about them? Sure! Little Oinks are timid and mysterious creatures that hatch from eggs! They spook easily and will run away if you approach them! Observe them from out here! There are many breeds of Little Oinks! They're very easy to tell apart! White ones, black ones, even gold and silver ones! If you're curious about the breed of a newborn Little Oink, come over and talk to me! I wish the world were full of Little Oinks. That would be grand. Little Oinks, huh? Well, I would demonstrate that! Except for one little problem! They ain't free. Yep. Cost ten coins to do that, and I don't got no money! So we'll have to go over that at a later time. Got ourselves a nice little plaza down here, and oh, look over there! It's the train we heard so much about! Uh, do you have anything to say about it? Ever been to Dry Dry Desert? It's a really scary place! I've seen packs of cactus monsters, thieves who prey on travelers' coins, and even whirlwinds! It's a lot safer to stick to the path so you don't get lost. It goes in a direct line from Mount Rugged to Dry Dry Outpost. Good advice! What about you, Purple Toadette? Mario, you do keep a good hand supply of items on, on, don't you? Nah. If you get attacked and you have nothing, you'll be in a pretty tight fix, huh? My advice is, whenever you're going on a long journey, you should stop by a shop and load up with supplies. Good advice. And Toad Sisters. We can't work because Peach's castle flew away. Oh well, I guess there's nothing to be done. The girls and I always wanted to go on a long trip. How lucky for us! At first I said, let's not go because there's so much trouble going on, but eventually I came around. We're ready to roll, but now the train can't move. Great. Our first stop was going to be the desert town. I wish we could go right now. Yep. As we can see, the train is blocked by a rock. However, we have a bomb. And with that, the train can move! Oh, thank you, Mario! The train's back on track! All aboard! This train is bound for Mount Rugged! Are you coming, Mario? You bet! The train is about to depart! Please board quickly! On the train we go! Come, Bombette! To Mount Rugged! Sit tight, folks! Now departing for Mount Rugged! 
Now we'll just enjoy the ride as we make our way to Mount Rugged. Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry, Dry Ruins. We'll be starting this next time on Paper Mario. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.